Good morning! So welcome to another solo vlog. Today we are going to London. We're going to London. That was really bad. I'm so sad. Now that's getting cut out. Anyway, <laughs> a few things to do there. I'm not going to tell you everything because I just want it to be a surprise when we go to all these different places. But I'm just about to drive to Doncaster, about a 40 minute drive, and then I park at the train station because if I try to get a train from here, they're always cancelled. It's a nightmare. I need to do my tyre pressure first though because my tyres are low. I need to get some petrol. All of these single independent woman jobs cut my grass yesterday <laughs> no biggie let's go do that i'll see you at the train station God, what was that? so managed to get here i'm in a multi-story because my normal car park was full again so just got here reversed into a space again <laughs> who needs a man <gasps> me no shut up I'm gonna go walk to the station now and freeze my fingers off on the platform okay this lift smells like someone just weed in it there's a ghost going down i may have overestimated the weather because i'm dressed for summer late spring summer um i forgot we only have one day of summer in the uk so it's freezing cold I've just got to London, I'm just at King's Cross, so I'm going to go and find the tube station and go to Oxford Street and I want to um, go find somewhere to eat maybe, have like a little solo meal. So I just went down the escalator to the tube and I was like right I'm on my way and then I felt the heavens open in my pants. I'm blood thinners for my suspected blood clot, I'm on my period. So that is not a good combo for a girl that has a heavy period anyway. It is not. It's not the one. Go find the lovely public King's Cross toilets. Anyone else do this when go into my toilet? I've leaked through the pad into my pants onto my trousers. Let's try fix it. Managed to fix it and I do have dark trousers on. So we're just gonna have to oh, we're just gonna have to roll with it. So we just got to Oxford Circus and I think I'm going to find somewhere to eat. Should we go for food? I already feel <laughs> that I need to go to the toilet again. This is going to be a disaster. Um, but I'm thinking get some food first. First stop. I might go to Oaxaca. I really want some like Mexican food, some nachos maybe. Okay, I was walking past Urban Outfitters. Obviously. I had to come in, she never get anything because it's too expensive. <laughs> no, because how pretty is that? Well, I'm on my way to find Oaxaca. Um, hopefully they have a table for one. Okay, so I managed to get a table. It's actually really quiet. Like every time I've been in here, it's been really busy and I've had to wait. So, um, so I've just ordered some nachos and a Coca-Cola and hopefully it won't be long. And then I'm gonna go from here to my appointment. So I've got an appointment, a private scan, because uh, I'm flying on Saturday and I've been being investigated for a blood clot. The NHS wouldn't scan both my legs, blah, blah, blah. So I was starting to panic. So anyway, I booked a private one here, which is why I'm here. But I can do some holiday shopping. I can go for some food, just have a nice day out in London solo and obviously take you guys with me. So this is where I'm sat, by the way, for anyone that's curious. All by myself. Okay, I can't do that in public. So we have secured the goods on the nachos. It's actually a sharer, like I say, but I will demolish it. I had these nachos last time I was in London and I just haven't stopped thinking about them. The only thing about eating alone, you have no one to check that you look presentable after you've just devoured a giant plate of nachos and I've got guacamole on my earphones. <coughs> anyway, that was a lovely meal out together, wasn't it? Me and you. Thing is, nobody cares if you're eating out alone, like they really don't. So I just think everyone should go out for meals on their own treat yourself if you want to go out one night just go i just left um, i'm just going to go now to the hospital for my little private scan hopefully that'll all be good news and then we can go and do some shopping so yeah just gotta find my way there first i just walked past me <laughs> he just went lady iphone lady iphone <laughs> lady iphone <laughs> and uh, tried to sell me an iphone out of his jacket pocket <laughs> wonder how much it was though so this is this is the hospital, very posh.
It's an art of filming there, um, which is why I wasn't chatting to you, but I just had it done. Um, it was so much more thorough than the NHS. Like, I'm not slagging the NHS because I think they're great, but it was a lot more thorough. And um, he did find that some veins weren't working properly, but I don't have a blood clot. Um, but the veins that weren't working properly are probably what's causing my discomfort. I kind of wanted to like get him to do the other leg. I kind of wanted to get him to do the other leg, but um, they were fully booked. So anyway, that's my results. So that's good news really, but yeah. Also, he did say that he would do me a full body scan, which is worth £800 um, if I go and film it and like shout out the hospital, which I'm definitely considering doing because I have health anxiety. So yeah, probably going to come back and do that at some point. I have found Zara. Let's go inside. I feel like there's like 5 million Zaras on Oxford Street. Okay, I have some stuff, but this is kids. I swear that would fit me. So that queue took ages. I have to try these on, because I bet they won't fit. So, love these shorts, love this outfit, but of course, I'm in Zara. So the 10 is too small, so I'm gonna have to get a 12. Just can't keep up with UK sizing, like sometimes I'm an eight, sometimes I'm a 10. I've never been a 12 before, but apparently so. I think I'm gonna go and get a little juice straight up shoved a whole cucumber, kale, like carrot, no I don't use the carrot, apple. She just put like the whole fruit in the juicer and just juiced it in front of, like it is just, <laughs> it is just pure vegetables. You don't do that in the north. This is why people are healthier over here. And let's go into Pull and Bear. I have seen a hoodie I like, but I don't know. I might go have a look somewhere else first. It's just so cute. So we've just come into Stradivarius. It's got the little shorts, because um, they were really cute for my holidays. And now I'm just going to find Bershka. Quick stop at H&M. I'm not really a H&M girl, but sometimes they have like quite cheap bikinis. Ooh. Try and find Brandy Melville. Um, I've got about half an hour before I need to go back to the station. I want to try and grab some food as well. I'm running out of time, but um, I'm hoping I can find a nice hoodie there. I thought I just saw this guy that I used to date at uni. I straight up nearly passed out. My knees are like jelly, but it wasn't even him. It was like his twin. So pretty. Here we are, the best shop in all of London. Take it back because they're not size inclusive. Everything's one size, but this is cute. But will it fit? This isn't good. It's not good. Picture this without the period flow. What? <laughs> My stomach is usually flat. I think it's a yes. I'm obsessed with these shorts. They're so nice. God, I'm gonna love everything, aren't I? I don't like the shirt. Thank God for that, because I was about to have to take out a loan. It cost me £100. But we're not going to talk about it because I've got some nice things and I really like them. So it's worth it in my eyes. So I need to rush because I'm going to be late for my train. I really need to work on my fitness. Definitely leaking out the side of my pants because I can feel it and I'm waddling. But trying to speed walk at the same time because I ain't got time to go to the toilet. Oh my god, it's so busy. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Loving life. I know belonging to the world behind the other land. Heading up to King's Cross. Stood. Face to face, in one inch, from a very good looking stranger. <laughs> and I thought, this must be like, he was like, have a body bench. Came off the tube and left it. So that's sad. And I also had a super the whole time. So, anyway, quick toilet trip before. Um, now, just gotta find the train. It was an hour and like 10 minutes ago. I like to be early, so it's bothering me that I'm a bit late. I made it! It's okay. back in Doncaster, freezing and just walk into where my car is parked. I couldn't park it in my usual place, so I'm quite a walk away. And I'm out of breath, of course. But yeah, so hopefully we'll find it soon. And soon we shall be home, home, sweet home. Ooh. I'm tired, I wanna go to bed. I don't know why, but I find these places so scary. Actually, I do know why. Serial killers. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. In the car safe. <laughs> we survived. Now I just gotta drive home. So um yeah, let's go home, baby.
I don't know why I said that. I'm home. I've just eaten a salmon salad. Gross. <laughs> 10 p.m. I have to wash my hair. I've eaten a lot of stinky food today. Never getting a boyfriend. Yeah, but I've got to wash my hair, do my VAT return all tonight. I need to go to Manchester tomorrow to do some filming. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. So I've washed my hair. It's half past 11. It's 11.30. Can you hear the office in the background? I need to stop procrastinating. I'm in bed. Thank you for coming to London with me. I had a lot of fun. We're going on a holiday on Saturday and we've got a whole month of holidays this month. I've got three trips to take you on, so it's going to get really exciting. If you enjoyed today's a little warm up, yeah, if you have enjoyed coming with me, then make sure to like, comment, subscribe, just make me smile. <laughs> I will see you next week when we're on a holiday. Love you, bye.